Welcome back. According to Uganda National Bureau of Statistics, Uganda's population is projected to grow to 4.12 million by 2020. Yet the, current, uh, the country currently has a housing deficit of about 1.2 million units, with Kampala alone having a staggering deficit of over 200,000 units. To help us put this and more into perspective, I'm now joined by the Minister of State for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Honorable Isaac Musumba. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. First of all, my first question is, tell us about the Land Sector Review 2019. The Land Sector Review gives opportunity to the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development to interact with other relevant stakeholders to critique the performance of uh, the sector, both past and present, and advise on the improvement for the future. That's mm -hmm. what is happening now. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is uh, the sector review, the stakeholders such as the UN, the World Bank, the UN Habitat, Cities Alliance and so on, plus civil society organizations are uh, all seated there and they get the platform to review and critique the work of the ministry and ultimately make recommendations for the future. It's well, Ms. Musumba, Uganda has a housing deficit of 1.2 million housing uh, million units right there. So how can this housing deficit be fixed to meet the already rising high demand for the growing population? First of all, that's a, a hard one mm -hmm. because the reality on the ground is that the government is not subsidizing the housing sector yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so we are relying largely on the private sector developers but these are not even able to supply maybe a hundred thousand houses mm -hmm. per annum mm -hmm. so the market is constrained however we are now working on a, a mortgage liquidity facility mm -hmm. that we will have pension fund employer employee financing and so on and uh, other banks that uh, may be interested in uh, participating to create a mortgage fund, mm -hmm. mortgage liquidity, mm -hmm. so that they can borrow, uh, the, the Ugandans can borrow and develop houses. As, as we wrap up, time. how can all Ugandans, regardless of their financial levels, have access to uh, housing, which is a human right, in 40 seconds? They will have, for now, build their own houses. For now, they'll have to build their own houses. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Isaac Musumba, for making the time to speak to us. Thank you, Romeo. Well, let's take a break.